Hello friends, we are back with another video and in this video we will be talking about Mumbai terror attacks 2611. Yes, you heard it right. We will be talking about Mumbai terror attacks. Now, if you talk about the Mumbai terror attacks, the attacks took place in 2008 in Bombay where a series of terrorist attacks were held by 10 members of lashkar e taiba which is an extremist islamic terrorist organization based in pakistan and they carried out 12 coordinated shooting and bombing attack lasting 4 days across bombay that is from 26th of november to 29th of november now 166 civilians were killed including 9 terrorist and more than 300 people were wounded Now the biggest question which arises here is such a big attack happened in the country and the government never ever responded against Pakistan. So now we will look into the reasons that why India was so fragile and you know so dumb or so numb that it cannot respond to such a great terror attack and the reasons were given and they were cited by Shiv Shankar Menon who was the foreign secretary during the terror attacks under the government of prime minister Manmohan Singh so the very first thing he said that why we did not attack pakistan is uh, again it's a very bullshit reason but i would like to tell it to you that if india would have attacked pakistan immediately then in the eyes of the world or you can say the united nation that would have been taken as a mere india pakistan conflict that has been going on for the past more than 50 or 60 years and the fact that pakistan government has collaborated with the terrorist and they have organized a terror attack on india that fact would have been dwindled or obscured so this was the first reason that mr menon has gave that why they did not attack pakistan and to support this reason he cited the example of 1947 when kashmir was raided by pakistani tribal people who killed many civilians they raped the women they even killed the animals they were so brutal and when india took this matter to the un the un said that it is just a mere border dispute we cannot look into it and it is more like a 50 50 dispute 50% is your responsibility 50% is their responsibility so you better check your own affairs please don't come to us now shiv shankar menon is a educated person everyone is educated they should understand that un never wants that peace should be maintained between any two territories un is like an ombudsman who is receiving money for maintaining peace in several countries ab if peace is maintained everywhere who will fund them and from where the officials will get the money now the second reason he cited for not attacking pakistan was that uh, in the year 2008 asif zardari was the president and under him the government was functioning now asif zardari was not a very violent kind of person he was not uh, a loyal to the army so the people were not liking him because he was you know not that much anti india also he was not pro indian but he was not that much anti indian he was trying to establish uh, amicable relationship between india and pakistan so mr shiv shankar menon said that if india were to attack pakistan then the government which is already fragile and weak in pakistan it will lose the support of the people the people will support the army and the army will topple the government and the army rule will be established in pakistan so we cannot attack pakistan because it will destabilize the government now again this is complete bullshit your civilians are being killed by a country and you are like that if you are attacking them the government will get toppled and instability will happen in that country and what about the instability they have caused in your country so i don't know how such people are getting to such high post but complete bullshit now let's talk about the third reason that he gave so the third reason he gave was the great recession that was going on in the year 2008 when american banks went bankrupt because of the bad mortgages loan they have provided to willful defaulters or who civil score was very down so he said that already the country is facing a recession period and if we are attacking pakistan we will go into further recession which won't be good for our economy 
to which up to some extent i agree but if you combine all his points that he has said in his article like including all of them this seems just to be an excuse because you are already spending so much on your defense and if you are unable to use like see weapons are not made for warfare they are just made to protect you but when somebody is attacking you you should retaliate and reply if you are not replying that means you are a coward but we are not talking of individuals here mr menen should realize and the congress government at that time they should have realized that they are representing a country they are not representing individuals so when you are being too cautious and too preventive regarding something you are depicting a very low image of your country in the eyes of the opponent so by not attacking i think india gave a further buffer to the pakistani government and the terrorist organization so that they can open their arms and they can fly high and they can make multiple number of terrorist attack again and again in the country had india retaliated at that time with a proper reply the wings of terror might have been chopped down now next we come to the next reason which he cited for not attacking pakistan again this is the matlab this is the most shittiest reason a person can give and the reason he gave is we talk about the us and the un who are constantly attacking afghanistan taliban tanzania the terrorist group that are there elites working in tanzania kenya boko haram is there hai na to us is constantly bombing them every now and then but yet the us has been unable to completely eradicate all the terrorist organization because all the terror organization they are there is no particular building or something or a training area they are just building their camps or tents or the uh, buildings are made up of tin the roof is made up of tin so if you are devastating them it will be again formed within a few days so if you are making a surgical strike on the led camps based in pakistan the tents will be rebuilt within some days and we cannot completely uh, uproot the terrorism from pakistan therefore we won't be attacking now this is complete bullshit you cannot destroy something forever 100% but you can cause a damage and you can give a proper reply to what they have done but according to his vision since us is unable to completely nullify the terrorist attacks and the terrorism camps we cannot do it to matlab अब ऐसे इंसान को क्या बोले क्या लीव इट नेक्स्ट रीजन दैट ही गेव दैट वाई वी डिड नॉट अटैक पाकिस्तान वॉज दैट वी हैव टू मेक अ प्रॉपर ग्लोबल इमेज इन द आईज ऑफ द कंट्रीज दैट वी आर नॉन वॉयेंट वी आर फॉलोअर्स ऑफ महात्मा गांधी एंड येस वी आर फॉलोअर्स ऑफ महात्मा गांधी बट दैट वॉज अ लॉन्ग टाइम अगो टूडे नन ऑफ द कंट्रीज आर फॉलोइंग द गांधी प्रिंसिपल ऑफ नॉन वायलेंस इफ यू आर फॉलोइंग द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ नॉन वायलेंस यू आर द बिगेस्ट मोर ऑन दिस वर्ल्ड एंड दिस इज वॉट इंडिया हैज प्रूव टू बी इन द लास्ट फ्यू ईयर्स दैट इज वाई वी आर बींग कॉन्स्टेंटली अटैक बाय पाकिस्तान चाइना इवन बांग्लादेश इज अटैकिंग इवन नेपाल हैज कम इन साइड अ बॉर्डर एंड किल्ड सिविलियंस इन बिहार सो दिस इज ऑल बिकॉज ऑफ दैट नॉन वायलेंस पॉलिसी दैट मिस्टर गांधी हैज गिवन टू अस this is not how the world goes so mr menen said that uh, we should follow the non violent policy of gandhi and we should unite the world in our favor and we should seek for their support and we will ask the united nation in order to ban these terror organization and he also said that uh, china got very interested and they were very much affected by our move that we did not attack pakistan and china started inquiring about these uh, terrorist camps now let me remind mr menen recently what happened in the united nation is india went with a resolution to blacklist masood azhar the jesh e mohammed terrorist because he was responsible for the pulwama attack now if you talk about the pulwama attack everybody knows about it it happened on 14th of feb 2019 when a convoy of vehicle carrying security personnel on the jammu shrinagar national highway was attacked by a vehicle bomb suicide bomber and the attack resulted in the loss of 40 indian soldiers 40 indian soldiers were martyred of the crpf so india went with a resolution to blacklist masood azhar in the un and china has held that resolution four times china is not willing 
to let the UN declare Masood Azhar as a global threat and global terrorist. So this is what China is, and we have already seen what China is, what they have done in Galwan Valley with the Indian soldiers and with the trust of the Indian people. So the government was very much concerned about their global image. One more option that was there for striking Pakistan was the example of Israel was given because Israel has been constantly hitting, bombing, killing the nations that are surrounding it on the Gaza Patti, on the West Bank, and the Palestine case ne banned baja diye. So like. It was said that uh, India should follow the example of Israel and it should also do an overt operation rather than a covert operation. You know, like full strike with full power, full strength and it should be visible to the world in order to give a clear message that we are not a coward nation. We are responsible and powerful enough to retaliate and give a proper reply. But then Mr. Menon said that that would have infringed and maligned our global image in the eyes of different countries. Doesn't matter the people are getting killed. No matter. Log to marne ke liye bane hai. Jo aayega ho to jayega hi. According to him. So we will not do an overt operation like Israel is doing. We are very peace loving people. So the final message that I want to convey from this particular video is that our bureaucracy and the politician, they are not having the willpower to retaliate in a proper way. A willpower kyo nahi hai? Because still we are living in the Gandhian era. Gandhian era ko itna zada apprise kar diya gaya hai hamare literature mein, hamare history mein, hamare UPSCs mein, that we are completely bounded, we are shackled, that we have to be a good person, or ye koi ek thappad maare, to hum dousra gaal aage padha de, and this is what we have been doing. And if you are feeling that the Modi government is doing surgical strike and everything, you are again completely wrong, we don't have a defense policy, still our defense policy is very weak. Till date what is happening, Pakistan is organizing a terror attack almost each and every day in Kashmir. Okay, it's good. Our border forces, they are killing the terrorists. But this is what the final solution is. By killing the terrorists, you won't be able to wipe out terrorism. What India need to do is, India need to hit their army general major. When the army generals and major will be hit, then they will get scared that we should not conduct any more terror attacks because we are being hit. And this India has not been doing, neither Modi has done nor Manmohar has done. So both the governments have completely failed us in the defensive and offensive front. We have been very defensive rather than being offensive. Recent examples of China and the Chinese soldiers, they entered our country they took iron rods with barbed wires and they martyred 20 of our soldiers. And we were like having guns, but we never retaliated. retaliated. And our Indian soldiers were carrying their guns, but they were like, we won't fire. Now, I'm asking you a question. If Indian soldiers would have attacked China in such a way, and if Chinese soldiers would have, like, would have been carrying the gun, so would have they been remained silent? No, they would have certainly opened fire. So why is our di uh, diplomacy and bureaucracy so weak that still we cannot allow our soldiers to defend their life properly? Why they have to give their life every time? It's not like that It is only because of the weak policies that is present in the bureaucracy and the politician. No willpower. So the final message I would like to convey is we should need to change our education system. Apart from Gandhi, we should introduce the lectures of Bhagat Singh, Chandrasekhar Azad, you know, something which is more violent and more vigilant rather than which is something very non-violent because abhi non-violent ka zamana nahi raha desh mein ya dunia mein. Nobody is non-violent. So Gandhi ji ko halka sa side kare aur कुछ देशभक्तों की कुछ स्वतंत्रता सेनानियों की बातें पढ़ाई जाए ताकि हमारे भी ब्यूरोक्रेसी और पॉलिटिशियन में थोड़ा खून में उबाल आए है ना बोस के बारे में पढ़ाया जाए तो ये करने से शायद क्योंकि एजुकेशन ही आपको डिसीजन लेने में आगे मददगार रहेगा अब मोदी जी तो पढ़े लिखे हैं नहीं तो उनकी तो बात ही अलग है बट 
I think education will bring a proper uprising and a proper commitment in everyone for their country so that they can take a stand whenever there is country is in a threat. So thank you for watching. Hope you have liked the video and do support your country. Be a brave person. Take willful and wise decision. Thank you. Bye.